Hello, everybody. It is going to take a couple minutes for everybody to hop on and join in. Make sure that when you join in, you say hello and chat if you can. Oh my. There's no way. I forgot to mute my computer. Um, anyway, so you're going to join in and you can add your your name will come up and just add where you're from in the chat. I would love that. And to know where everybody's from. Hi, Joyce. I always think it's fun to see where everybody's from that joins in. Okay, so we are here to make some fun cards. I am so excited to share these with you. But before we get started, I wanna give everybody a rundown on what we're doing here today in case there's somebody watching that has never seen my YouTube channel or has no clue what's going on. So these are the three cards I'm going to show. And I want to apologize right up front for the lighting is a little bit odd. My webcam, I have to use a webcam in order to do these videos. And it just doesn't really always provide the best option for lighting. But it is what it is, and um, we just roll with it. Okay. Hey, in Rockland, that's not very far from me. Okay, so these are the three cards we're going to put together today. And these are card kits, and so that people who are watching who are unfamiliar will understand. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I love making cards, and I love for other people to make cards as well. So if you purchase Stampin' Up! products from me on, in my online store, and you use the current host code that I have over on my website, and it's also going to be in the video description below once this video is published and, and finished. Um, then you will receive these three free card kits in the mail from me. So anybody who purchases from me gets at least one card kit, but a $50 order gets you all three of these. And I'm going to show you how the kits look so that you have an understanding of how they all go together. And we're going to put them all together today. So that's how this works. My website is lovinstampin.com. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can check that out. Some of you might be watching from my website right now instead of watching on YouTube. So I appreciate that as well. And these are the three cards. Now I decided to stick with um, all Christmas cards this time because it's that season and you can never have enough Christmas cards. So I'm going to check in on the chats here and just see where everybody's from. Hello in Arizona, California, Italy. Wow, you get the prize right now for furthest away. Another uh, California. Hi, Grandma Babe. Uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. I'm loving it. So we're going to get started, and we're going to use this we're going to make this card first. So let's get these other guys out of the way here. And this is really fun because it's a gatefold card. And a gatefold card just simply means that it, the way it opens. So it opens up like this. So it's double sided. Is that the right word? <laughs> double sided doesn't sound right. It, um, but you know what I'm saying. It opens up. It's two panels that open up. And then only the stuff on this side is adhered, obviously, so that you can open it. The other option you could do for a card like this is you could do a belly band that went around the whole card, and then this would just simply slide off all of the way. So you could do something like that as well. Your kit that you receive in the mail will either have this designer series paper in the background, which is from, I, the name is escaping me, of this of the, it's a six by six paper stack. Somebody who's a demonstrator on here, help me out. Hello in New Zealand and Iceland. Okay, and then I have this background paper, which is also beautiful. So your kit will have some sort of red background paper. Let's grab a kit. This is how your kit will come in the mail. 
All the items that you need to put the kit together are already in the bag. They're already cut and ready for you to assemble. They just are not stamped. It's a good stampin' up policy for me to provide any stamped images. So I don't do that because I don't break the rules. And I have one little die cut here from the Banners for Christmas die cut that I've already die cut out for you. So if you don't have this die cut set, you can use this. However, um, I highly recommend you get this die cut set because it die cuts a whole bunch of different banners and they're really awesome. If you visit my website today, you'll find a supply list for all of these items. Okay, this kit comes with two pieces. Thank you, Lori Goebel, my sweet friend in Oregon who I never see. She So this is the Warmth and Cheer Designer Series Paper Pack. I can never remember stuff once I'm on camera. I, it's like my mind goes blank. I hate it. Okay, so we're going to use the Stampin' Up! trimmer, my favorite trimmer of all time. And I'm not saying that just because it's Stampin' Up! I really, really love this trimmer. We are going to score both of our um, pieces of crumb cake cardstock at four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. So these are cut at eight and a half by five and a half to make an A2 size card when you fold them in half. And we need two of them because we're going to create a front, right? So they'll layer together like this. So you could leave the all three flaps completely full if you wanted to really make a fancy card and decorate this piece, open it and decorate this piece and have this inside. So that's an option. But in my case, I want to just make it a gatefold. So I'm going to cut these off at two and an eighth because that's half way between the four and a quarter mark. So you can see there it's half. Okay. So I'm cutting just the front off at two and an eighth. I almost cut it too far. That would have been catastrophe. Catastrophe. Hello in Florida. Hey, Patty. Patty is one of my awesome customers. I just really love her. She's a very loyal customer of mine. So many loyal customers. Okay, so now you're going to have two pieces that look like this, and you simply just need to put them together. So I'm going to use my fast fuse adhesive, and you don't need a super ton of it, but I use more than probably is necessary, just because I, if somebody got a card from me and it started to like come apart, I would be horrified. So I probably use more than is necessary. And then we're just going to layer this piece onto the inside of the bottom. And now we have a gatefold. Ta-da! Ta-da! That's fun to do. Chesapeake, Virginia. Hey, Tiffany. All right. Now I've got two pieces of the Warmth and Cheer Designer Series paper and these are different than the other two I showed you but they work great still because they are the red color and which lends itself to this whole card really nicely. The other side has these fun trees on it though. Isn't that fun? I love these trees. Hello Michelle and Petaluma. She's also not very far from me and she's one of my awesome team members. We are, next Wednesday, we are having a team meeting here on YouTube, but you can tune in if you're interested in watching that, and um, it will be live. Okay, I'm just adhering these panels down, and we are making some really cute tags, Christmas tags. I'll show you those, a quick little sneak peek for being here live with me today. Okay. All right. So there's my card front that opens like this. So you can imagine the possibilities are endless. You could do all kinds of things with this. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Val. Hey, Val, you know I'm going to be in Phoenix this weekend. I didn't know you lived in Phoenix. Well, I did probably know you lived in Phoenix because you're a customer and you've ordered from me, but I can't really keep up in my head with every where everybody's from I start I start losing track okay so now I have my little doily here that I have to be oh so delicate with because oh gosh just like that these doilies like to tear 
I probably actually should have used snail adhesive. I've been asked before, like, what's the point of having different adhesives? So the point of having different adhesives is exactly what I just said. Like this adhesive is super, super strong. And this is a really delicate item. So using it on there is a little bit iffy on my part. Let's use a bone folder and get this crease a little bit stronger, shall we? So I have to tell you guys, I um, slept wrong last night on my shoulder and all the way from my shoulder up to my neck. It's just killing me because I, when I woke up this morning, I must not have moved all night long. I must have slept really good <laughs> because I was just so much pain this morning when I woke up and um, I have an icy hot patch on my neck now because I am, yes, Val, I'm attending a, an event in Phoenix um, for Stampin' Up. It's the Stampin' Up on stage local event, and I'm actually presenting for um, the event. I'm doing a business presentation, and so now I'm just horrified because I can barely move my, my head um, to the left. I can't turn my head to the left very well, and <laughs> I'm... I'm really going to be embarrassed to be up on stage and not be able to like have normal mobility. So I'm doing everything I can to hopefully get my, my neck and arm and everything that's sore back moving appropriately. I hate when I pinch something like that. Okay. So banners for Christmas is the stamp set that I'm using. And then I'm going to use my, big clear block here and early espresso ink for my stamping. And then I just have to pull this a little bit closer to me guys, because I have to be able to see it over the top of it. It's really nice that this is a clear stamp. So it helps the situation. All right. So it's beautiful, right? When it's all stamped out and then we're going to add some sentiment. So this stamp set comes with some fantastic sentiments and they fit into the banners beautifully. So let's use, we're going to use joyous Christmas or joyful Christmas, excuse me, and happy new year. So we'll start with joyful Christmas. Uh Oh, that was in my way. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to get this down without putting my head right inside the camera. Sorry, guys. I got to do it. I got to do it. Well, I kind of fudged it up, but it's not horrible. It's a, it's a little bit skewed there, but not horrible. Okay, then we're going to do the and. And then Happy New Year. I mean, I guess you could do Happy New Year and Joyful Christmas if you wanted to, but I have to go in chronological order. All right, so there's that. We're not done with our stamping just yet. Out of the same beautiful stamp set is this really fun mistletoe. So what I did is I went through my stamps and I was like, you know, or my cardstock, and I thought, what cardstock it looks the most like mistletoe and you know which one it is always artichoke always artichoke hat looks just like mistletoe so i had to grab my mistletoe now this this color from now on it's going to be called mistletoe in my house the mistletoe color so when I was growing up, I lived on 40 acres with my grandparents, most of, most of my growing up years, and we had mistletoe in the oak trees. And my grandpa would climb up into the oak trees and cut the mistletoe out because it's actually a fungus. I don't know if everybody knows this. It's like a fungus that grows or a parasite that grows on oak trees and it kills them. They die from it. So you have to trim the um, mistletoe out of the trees in order for the trees to still be able to thrive. So um, 
there's a little piece of information for you. I don't know what kind of information that is. Useless information, probably, unless you have oak trees that are dying. And then maybe you just need to evaluate if they have mistletoe in them. That could be the problem. So this stamp set, yes, is fabulous. Banners for Christmas. So versatile. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the mistletoe. And I just decided that I wanted to leave a little bit of an edge around it as I trimmed it out. Um, so I'm not getting super precise. I'm not trying to get super close and cut out every little detail because I don't really care to. And it doesn't, it's not the focal point of the card. Um, the sentiment is really the focal point of this card. And so that's where your eye is drawn and, and kind of to the red background. This is just one little embellishment that um, is kind of a, I don't know, it just adds interest and detail to the card. But it, it's really not a focal element. So we don't have to be super precise. You get the general idea by just trimming around everything. And I'm weird. I have to cut off chunks as I go because it bugs me to have like a chunk of paper next to where I'm trimming. So I have to like chop it off. And then some people, you know, trim the whole way around. So then when they're all done, it's like they have, I don't know, this one solid piece that they've trimmed away. So is there two kinds of people in this world? There's the kind of people that trim in chunks and the kind that go all the way around. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Okay. So, hey in, hey in France, bonjour. I don't know any French except for that word. Okay. So now we're going to adhere this piece down in the middle over the top of the doily. This is just a sweet card. I really love how it turned out. It makes me feel, I don't know, it makes me feel happy and warm. It's a very warm card. And it make, it reminds me of um, like kind of a cabin-y feel, like cabin and just warm Christmas time. I just love it. It's one of my favorite cards I've made this season. Okay, so then we're gonna tuck this is kind of important. Okay, so we're going to tuck this piece under, then it's going to go over this middle and back under this one. So under, over, under. And I already have adhesive on there, so I got to be really careful while I'm doing this that I don't um, really make a mess. Okay, and then get it all tucked in nice there and then put it down. You're a chunk cutter too, babe, grandma, babe. That doesn't surprise me. I think, I think we have a lot of things in common. Okay. Then you have this little piece of uh, linen thread that will come in your kit and you just got to make a bow out of it. I always say I hate making bows on TV. I always call YouTube TV. My daughter called it uh, TV a long time ago. And so it kind of stuck. Okay, so now I am tightening my bow here. And do, do, do. Then I'll trim off the ends a little bit. And we'll just use a fine tip glue pen little glue. Now it would be really cute. One of the things that you could do, um, this, you could kind of turn this mistletoe into like hollies and mistletoe or because it's got the little round, it has like these little round things, which I'm going to tell you, that's not how mistletoe looks. I think this is intended to be mistletoe, but that's really not how mistletoe looks. Um, but you could add like little red dots there or beads or something there to make it look like little berries if you wanted to. Hey, in Mexico, that's exciting having people join from Mexico. I think that's a first actually. 
I don't think that we've had anybody from Mexico. Okay, so there's card number one. Yay! The next cards are going to go a lot faster. All right, so here's the second card. It is so super cute. All the pieces come in the kit, of course, like just like I shared with the other one. And we're going to fold this in half. Super simple. Okay, now here's the thing. This kit comes with this piece of garden green cardstock. You can do to this piece of garden green cardstock how, whatever you feel appropriate. What I thought was cute was to run it through the cable knit sweater die. See this? Or not die, embossing folder. I think that that makes this card spectacular. It takes it up a step. However, if you don't do that and you just leave it plain, it is still super adorable. Um, I really like showing this because I like to show how easy it is to step a card up from what it already was. So it was already cute to begin with, in my humble opinion, but then by just adding this extra little element, element of the embossing, it made it that much cuter. All right, so we're going to grab that fine tip glue pen again, and I'm just gonna put a little line of glue right here at the top of the stocking and add it. And I've got all these little elements are already um, punched out for you. And they're ready to go in your kit. So, um, yeah. Okay. And then we have our little heel. Hey, Lacey. Good to see you. Okay. So we're going to set this little feller aside to dry and just make sure none of his pieces come apart. And we're going to do our stamping. So for this one, I am using the Hang Your Stocking um, stamp set. And I'm going to use the Merry Christmas sentiment. And then we're going to do some extra fun little things that I did not do on the other one. Because I really want to show you how you can make some different... Um, you can you can change things up. You don't always have to do things exactly like your kit that you get. So if you're just joining and you don't know what I'm talking about, about these kits, these are kits that I provide for free for people who place Stampin' Up! orders with me. Hi in Canada. Okay, so we're just going to stamp Merry Christmas right down like that. And I'm going to close this guy up for just a second while I finish this stuff off here. And now you could use the triple banner punch, which I did use on the other card, or you can just make your own. Um, if you don't have that punch, you can make your own fishtails here or ribbon ends, however you want to call them. You just trim up the center and then you're going to go from an angle and trim in and trim away the excess and then I am going to adhere this guy down onto this guy like so and then I just have a little pattern to follow so that I can make sure both ends are the same this is easier to do with the triple banner punch I'm not gonna lie to you uh, it's quicker and easier, but I don't have my punch in here with me, and so I thought I would just do this. All right, so that will be our sentiment, but before I put the sentiment on there, I really wanted to show you some extra fun things that you can do if you take the time to get the Hang Your Stocking stamp set, and then, of course, you would just want to get a bundle and get it with the framelits that match because it's just too much fun to play with. So. Um, you can pick these up in my online store. The links to all the products that you see me using here today are over on my website at levenstampin.com. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out the little Christmas tree that you see here. 
and I am just going to take my garden green ink and we are just randomly going to stamp some Christmas trees in the background. How fun is that? And super easy. Oh goodness. Well, I'm going to have to learn how to stamp apparently. There we go. I missed this guy too over here. I'll just wing it. What the heck? I should have probably stamped this prior to putting it on the green or on the white base, but that's okay. Okay, the other thing we can do is this awesome stamp set comes with all these little stitched pieces that you can stamp on your stocking. So let's take the early espresso ink that I just used. Hi in Switzerland, thanks for joining us. And I'm gonna ink these little stitches up here and stamp those. And I kind of got crazy and made a mess, that's all right. And then we're gonna stamp a toe and a heel. So here's the heel. And then let's do the toe. So you can see here how this is just really bringing all these elements to life. And you can really get different looks depending on what you use. And I just want to show you that because I really feel like sometimes we get hung up in doing exactly what the rules say or what the instructions say. And you really can just be creative and make your own rules when it comes to crafting. That's one of the things I love about crafting because I am a rule follower in every aspect of my life, people. Let me tell you, I am one of those people that's super annoying about following the rules and doing what I'm supposed to do um, always. And crafting is the one place I can be a rebel and just do whatever I want. Okay, so there's these going down and voila. So now look at the difference. I mean, they're two very different cards, but very much the same at the same time. So just fun. You can play and just do some really fun, cool things. Hey, in Florida. Okay. So that's card kit number two. Here is card number three. This is the easiest card and it's so pretty. And I've already cut or I've already stamped because it was an accident actually. I just happened to already have one stamped. And I was like, well, I really need to use this because I already stamped it and I didn't want to throw it away. So we're gonna use it. All right, so I've got my creme cake card stock here. Hey there in San Diego. Oh boy, I wish I was in San Diego right now. Oh, it's it's actually very pretty here today. I'm in Northern California, so it's very pretty, but cold, cool, not cold. It's cool. Okay. So I'm going to put this guy down. I'm going to use this gorgeous stitched ribbon. Look at this ribbon. It's like got a crochet edge all the way around it. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to use it like this. You're probably going to be surprised at what I do here. All right. So I'm going to leave, well, let's see. I put too much adhesive there. All right, so I'm gonna cut this end off. So you gotta cut one end off and I'm gonna lay it this way. Then I'm gonna take this end and wrap it this away and put it down on that adhesive. I'm gonna take this end and put it this away and then trim it away. Okay, so now I have these two. Then I'm going to take this piece and just tie an overhand knot, just a single overhand knot. And then I'll trim away, ow, 
those in. So I just stabbed myself under the fingernail. That was awesome. That hurt like a son of a gun. Okay, so now this will go here. You're gonna have to really fight with this sucker because I'm actually gonna have to move it down a little. I had to fight with the last one too. Okay, so this will go here and we're gonna use the dimensionals. Look, you could use that side if you want. This is the Candy Cane Lane Christmas paper. I love the Candy Cane Lane Christmas paper. And do you know it's a number one bestseller for us this season? We just found that out. It's our top selling designer series paper and it's our top selling product. And that's because it's so cute. Who doesn't love crumb cake, white, and real red together? I mean, they are just a gorgeous combination for the holidays. And um, this paper is to die for. Okay, so we're gonna put this down just right over the top of that ribbon. And then we're gonna put our most wonderful time of the year right over the top of that. So let me get all, look, I stamped on both sides. That's because this one's crooked. This one's straight. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy down and I'm using quite a few dimensionals on this. Okay, so as I'm finishing up, I just wanna say, I'm so happy you all have joined me. I think at one point we had over 50 people here live, which is amazing. And um, if you want to place an order with me, I would absolutely love that. You will get these kits in the mail for free if you place a $50 order or more with me using the current host code. If you've already ordered from me, you already have received these fun kits. And, um, or you will be if you've just placed your order. And I also have a really fun embellishment pack that I'm giving away for $50 orders or more, um, but I only have 20 of them left. So if you're interested in getting one of those embellishment packs, it comes with a full roll of, or a full package of um, cherry cobbler, uh, baker's twine, some fun epoxy stickers, and an entire packet of these fun doilies that you could use to make Christmas tags with or cards or whatever. Hello in Sun City, Arizona. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so for my final detail on this card, and this is included in the kit, is a little bitty strip of rhinestones. So you can add a little bit of bling to your card. How cute is that? All done. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I have had such a good time putting these kits together for you. I absolutely love you guys joining in and commenting and telling me where you're from. I think it's so fun. Um, yes, I know. If you're out of the United States, uh, Susie makes a great point. If you're out of the United States, you can't place an order with me. So I'm really sorry about that. But um, you can find a demonstrator in your country and order from them. If you're in the UK, you could use um, Poodles, which is Sam Hammond, Sam Donald. Um, she's an amazing person. She's a friend of mine. Um, if you're in the Australia, you can use Daniil Bernard um, or... Kylie Bertucci. They're both amazing people. Um, yeah, so anybody you want to want to get on board with in your country is great. If you live in Canada, you could contact Genevieve Co. Genevieve's a friend of mine and she runs a wonderful business and I really adore her. So um, yeah, there's lots of demonstrators out there that will be very, very happy to uh, help you out. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have an amazingly blessed day. And um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.